Hey guys, how's it going? Well, just got this in and this is a monster of a mic. Uh, it's actually part of a mic system. It's made by MSA and it's intrinsically safe. You can see all the different certifications for it. It's a very, very color remote speaker mic. And it does double duty as uh, it's all weatherproofed. This, I believe, hooks up to an apparatus that goes to a breathing uh, breathing device. It, it can work off, uh, gosh, I forget what it is, bone vibration, uh, a bone vibration headset maybe. It's got this really, really extreme push to talk on it. The clip on the back is a claw type clip that when you cinch this down that thing is not going anywhere I mean this thing is built like a tanks tank uh, it does have some type of lanyard clip here now I've seen them but I MSA makes them and Everything's weatherproof. This mic works fine. Uh, it's just an incredible microphone. In fact, give me a second. I know you guys like to look at keypads. Here we go. I got a couple things to show you. There are very incredible microphone systems. I've just never seen anything so military, uh, you know, if you want something heavy duty. And this is mainly for fire applications and actually industrial applications too. It, it does work for the XTS 5000, I believe it works for the 3000 as well. Uh, may work for the 2500. I haven't tried it on there, but I, I just might. But the weatherproofing on here is just so, I mean, this is, this is really, really incredible. And if any of you guys out there that are fire guys uh, use these systems, chime in and let me know about it. Uh, let me see here. I'll give you a, let me go up in zones. There we go. this up a bit. I hope I don't get feedback. Check, 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 check. 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 Very, very clear. In fact, it's the audio is uh, rated really. It's got extremely good audio properties to it. It cancels out engine noise. Check, check. check. Turn that up just a bit. If I can get by without feedback, watch your speakers. Check. Sorry. Turn it down a bit. Check, check, check. So, very, very extreme mic. MSA. You got your mic element, you've got a very large speaker, and this push to talk is just nothing short of incredible. And this is a part, I believe it could be extended onto a system that will, uh, in fact I know it is, that actually goes up into your, uh, you can use it as a headset, mics, or they have some that go inside the breathing apparatus of the fire, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, the oxygen mask, uh, that type of deal. And this one, I don't know how much I'm gonna ask for this. I need to kind of look around and see how much they're going for. Incredible though. I mean just incredible. If you want a remote speaker mic that is built like a tank, I've never seen anything like this. Admittedly it's a bit awkward to hold but it's not. I don't think it's meant to hold at all. It's more to go on fire gear and uh, to use this push to talk it may have a Vox feature on it, but I don't believe it does. 
uh, it's very possible that when a headset is hooked to this is that the headset can actually be Vox activated to where you don't have to use the push to talk it may bypass this I don't know that or not I have no clue I'm just kind of learning as I go and I'm looking this up and I'm uh, checking checking out the the specs on it and they're just incredible but anyway uh, there's I've got some radios that are coming back from Michigan they're already uh, bumped up in firmware and the flash and uh, there's several radios uh, one's going to the UK uh, that's a UHF 2500 FPP I've got one VHF that's with FPP that's 2500 uh, one of them is a 1500 I think it's a UHF and it was converted to a 2500 uh, these chargers I've got a few of these in and I went ahead and I bought the universal uh, not the universal I'm sorry the upgrade kit this lo already came loaded with 3.90 version firmware I've been using my buddy Coe's and I need to get that back to him and Co. it will be coming back to you with my uh, absolute uh, undivided thanks uh, but anyway this is imp an impress I impressed field programmer uh, unit what it does is it upgrades your uh, your firmware and this will be a bit of a rant video because I do want to go in you know it's funny Apple Microsoft all these large companies that uh, that really you know charge very high prices for their uh, electronics all of them have free updates uh, firmware updates yet Motorola you know they want to charge 60 bucks for a firmware upgrade well the firmware upgrades are usually introduced because of an error that you know is cleared from a, a, a more recent update so you know they should if they have, if Motorola Corporate had a soul, uh, they would make that available uh, for the for the radios that have you know legit serial numbers, legit model numbers. They they should make those available to any uh, any user of any of those radios free. They should be free up updates, but they're not. So you know, I mean, there's nothing you can do with Motorola. Uh, it's the corporate side of it, and you know you can love their products, but hate their company, and that's kind of the way I am. Uh, this works off this field programmer unit. You've seen me use it. Uh, works off 98, 2000, and XP. It won't work on Windows 7, but uh, it programs both the game chargers and uh, yeah, I mean it upgrades the firmware and it tests them too. It tests each port. All of my chargers will be uploaded with the most recent firmware. Uh, here you can kind of have a gander at the controls. It's just got a start button that's red. It's got a tri uh, tricolor indicator uh, that has different purposes that I'll show you. It's got a 15 pin data cable and then you've got your USB and that is for uh, going to the MOL, MOL site and they will actually allow you free upgrades uh, or free updates on the firmware if you bought this it's kind of expensive it is pretty expensive uh, unless you do a whole lot of chargers I wouldn't recommend getting one not you wouldn't want to do it if you just had one and then you've got a power supply this hooks up to a computer and uh, you've got your power supply the plugs in you hook it up to your computer, you download the software, and then you're good to go. Or download the firmware, and you're good to go. Uh, let me see here. This is how it looks when it's on. And one thing is, what's nice about this is, it will do the displays. If you've got a multi-charger with displays, it will update. It will update the firmware in the displays as well. Uh, 3.40 firmware is pretty good, but at the same time, I've had some people get a hold of me 
with uh, you know the three uh, version firmware that starts with 3.30 or 3.00 uh, and earlier and they, they're having problems with some batteries but what you need to do is you need to you can upgrade these you don't need to have the power on and you don't have need you don't need to have the in fact you need to leave it off when you actually up, do the firmware upgrades uh, have the power off on the charging units uh, because you don't need the power on they sh it shouldn't be on you've got the case uh, exposed and uh, you really do need to if you have one of these chargers or if you have a gang charger uh, periodically you do need to kind of open up the case and you need to look and inspect to see if there's any dust, any moths, any spiders, uh, you know there's a lot of things that you know these generate heat just like any appliance and if you're uh, if it's close you know if it's in a if it's in an area where there's a lot of traffic and uh, a lot of foot traffic and a lot of exposure to both inside and outside uh, you need to kind of take this apart it's very easy to do you just take out four screws and you simply lift the top off and shake out you know anything that might be in there it's very straightforward you know it's but one thing you do need to do is be careful when you uh, when you put the screws back in and when you back them out uh, you don't want to crack anything inside uh, of the supports and sometimes that can happen but it's no big deal but still uh, you know try not to do that uh, anyway you can each each one of the six bays will take four or each each bay takes a single uh, a single upgrade so you've got six if you've got a six bay a six hang charger you're gonna have to do this six times takes about 45 seconds to a minute to go through the cycle to test and then to pump the firmware into it and upgrade it and then the indicator changes and uh, changes colors to green and you're good to go uh, for a single unit this is what they look like when they're uh, with a cover off of them so I mean this is pretty bulletproof uh, you do have to watch the ESD electrostatic discharge because there are, you know, there are electronics in here, and you don't want to zap the wrong electronic with uh, with uh, a static, you know, static touch. But anyway, that's the connecting point. You just slide the slide the little connector onto it. Once you're done, you just gently just be careful when you uh, when you reassemble your your charger I've heard of some people that have uh, that have uh, done the upgrades and uh, or just gotten them just to see what they are and then they'll go to tighten them down they'll monster tight the, the screws and, and they'll hear a click well there's supports you got to be careful uh, because the supports are just plastic so you know be careful when you're working with with any uh, with any plastic housing, same same with these. You know, be careful. Use the right tools. You'll be fine. This takes uh, programmer ready, steady yellow, flashing yellow is programmer busy, uh, steady green, successful. And if there's a programmer error, uh, it also that's that also goes for if there's if the if there's something wrong with that port, it'll flash red. So that's really that's really going to be worth its weight in gold because I do a lot of these I've done you know, over a hundred of them about a hundred and hundred and forty uh, upgrades and thank you so much Co. Uh, I'm going to get yours back to you and this will be a very nice oh while I'm at it there's your power there's your USB there's your programming that's where the programming cable goes and that's where the, that's where the business end that's where the business end uh, this is the programming side and then you've got in here I can 
get it out. I'm having a rush because I got some things going on. That's the programming cable, that's the business end. So, and then you've got your, your power supply. And then you've got your uh, USB cable, which I don't think I'll have to take out for quite a while because it is loaded with 3.40 or 3.90. So you've got a data cable there. If I do need to, it's a zip lock, so it won't be any big deal. But it's a very nice upgrade kit. But yeah, you do need to do a little bit of maintenance if you want your, you know, if you want your charger to run efficiently. These chargers are expensive. Every single one of these press chargers are expensive. I don't care where you buy them. Uh, you're going to pay quite a bit of money for them. So take care of them. And you know, from time to time, if you're in an environment that has doors that open and close a lot and the thing is exposed to, well even vacuums uh, you, you can pump a lot of dust in uh, but just, you know, just back out the screws, just be careful and back the screws out, take the cover off, make sure that uh, make sure you're careful about it and check to see if there's, you know, any debris in there because that can also start a fire and you don't want that either uh, let me see here I gotta put this down just for a second. Sorry. I think you guys are used to that. Anyway, uh, the, the radios are back, or are on their way back, and I've got several fires lined up that, that are needing them. I'd be very happy to get them. They'll be very pleased. Uh, but that's the upgrade kit, and I'm glad to get that. I'm trying to think. Uh, got a lot. Got an 800. Megahertz unit, Model 3, uh, very nice one, uh, tags, and somebody, for some reason, uh, put a property tag on uh, the back, I think it was a dealer tag, and they put it right over, right where the label is, but the serial number and the model number show, so uh, that's a good thing. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, I did get a new, nice new tape gun, and that's for all my packing. I've got one inch tape and I've got the strapping tape. It's heavy duty in these things, uh, especially this particular tape and this particular gun uh, really work very, very well. Uh, I've also picked up another different type of tape gun that says fragile, handle with care, and really good for shipping. It's very strong tape. Very, very strong tape. Uh, you'd really, really have to work hard to get uh, to get that tape off, but I really like my shipments to look professional. And I, more than that, I want them to make sure, I want to make sure that they'll make it through any gorilla who gets, gets their hands on them at the, you know, any shipping, uh, any shipping center. And I know that, I know that, uh, Things like that can happen, and I don't want any damage done to the product. And you know, none of this shipping material uh, is cheap. These aren't cheap either. Uh, but at the same time, neither is you know a damaged product. So uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. But yeah, I thought I'd let you guys check this out. I think that's a very very cool and interesting mic. And it's heavy duty. It's built just like nobody's business. MSA, and I mean, if you guys use these, or if you have a use for them, let me know. But I need to check out the price, see how much they're going for. They've got to be going for quite a bit, because I've never seen anything built like this. That's just incredible. And it can be used as a remote speaker mic. Or it can be used as a uh, as a conduit to a headset. So either way, you know, pretty darn nice. But anyway, that's kind of what's going on. It's been been a busy weekend, and it's going to be a busy week. I've got a lot of stuff coming in. I've got a lot of stuff going out. Uh, the Q splits. I'm not sure if those are all gone or not. I've still got five left, but. I've got a guy who needs five, so I don't know if those are going to be going in or out. Uh, it kind of depends on some board approval for uh, 
for this company and if they can get board well agency but if they can get board approval uh, I don't think they'll have a problem but I don't count my chickens before they're hatched and uh, you know it's just one of those things uh, you know when they're sold they're sold until then they're not so if you want one of those uh, five thousands that are new you better get your hands on them quick because they're not going to be up for long anyway take it easy guys that's pretty much it uh, by the way yeah this is uh, fiberglass reinforced filament tape strapping tape and it really works best if you run this horizontal uh, over the flaps, horizontal to the flaps, instead of, I'm sorry, vertical. If you run them against the line, like the flap would come down this way, run the tape across it this way, uh, because it will give a whole lot more strength and integrity to your uh, sealing needs. But anyway, that's kind of pretty much all that's going on. Uh, take it easy. I hope you're having a good start to your week. hope you're not getting burdened by snow. We got hit with a lot of it. Uh, over the weekend and it's snowing right now so anyway light snow though so hopefully hopefully we've seen the end of it but anyway guys take it easy and uh, for the folks who watch and are expecting the radios they should be back I should have photos uh, shot to you get a hold of me if you're needing those radios uh, you can call me or you can uh, email me you have my email and my phone numbers so feel free uh there's fire chief down in missouri that uh i've gotten a hold of I've got a hold of him over the weekend i think your buddy uh one of the guys at the station is going to relay the message uh to you since you don't have voicemail so <laughs> your radio is on its way back and you'll be very happy with it and uh anyway that's pretty much it take it easy guys later on